Hello everybody, I'm John with Schwing America and this is What Is It Wednesday where we talk about our work, our people and our news. Today, we're going to be talking about how concrete gets up there. I mean, haven't you ever wondered how we get our material hundreds of feet off the ground? It's not like we take bags of concrete to the top floor every time or booms taking the stairs. For anybody familiar with the industry, your first method could be the stationary pump. You can line hoses up to your desired location. And depending on your line, you can get some pretty good height, but its pressure could be affected after a certain distance. After that, a truck mounted pump from Schwing, like the S51XX, could be your next bet. With a boom length of 51 meters, you can get a vertical reach of over 100 feet. Considering an 8 to 12 feet vertical height per story, you could reach up a building 10 stories tall. If you have a longer boom, you can go even higher than that. But what if your project needs a bit more height? This is where another method comes into play, the separate placing boom. The SPB can be mounted on something called a mast, and in this case, the octagonal mast. The SPB is used when there's a lack of sight access or when you need to cover large floor areas. The octagonal mast is the tower used to get the boom from the ground to the sky. By first assembling it on the ground, you can lift the mast by crane to the floor opening and adjust its height as the job requires. When fitted inside a building, it can climb up floor by floor in two feet increments. It's sort of like a push pop ice cream inside a building. But if that's not enough or you need something a bit more compact, you can always use a hardened pipeline all the way up using the large SP and separate placing boom to reach up to a hundred stories. So the next time you're looking at our nation's beautiful buildings and you wonder, how do they get up there? Remember, keep pumping and make that dough.